What's up, people? I got my white shirt on. I'm all ready to party for Christmas. Gotta love the gap ups. Gotta love it. Did you think we were gonna leave this year without at least rallying one of these days? Did you not think Research and Motion wasn't gonna come to our rescue? As well as Google and Apple and the only other three stocks that control the entire NASDAQ. Did you think we weren't gonna get a big pile of NASDAQ in our stocking this day and smoke it up and rally the markets before we had to just collapse? Now, this is going out to Bill Gross. Bill Gross, 7,600 on the Dow, 1,200 on the NASDAQ. Bill Gross, who says we're already in a recession. He says it should only last four or five months. So according to the stock market, which procrastinates, which prognosticates what the market's going to be doing in the next six months, the recession's over already. If it's only going to last four or five months, we should be buying stocks right now for the next six months, right? So boom, buy stocks, smoke your NASDAQ, have a good time, Merry fucking Christmas. So you gotta love the gaps. Did you think Research in Motion wasn't gonna do well? There's only one company out there doing what they do. If anything, there should be an antitrust suit going on with Research in Motion. There's no competition. What do you think, Palms? Com a competitor? So get this XM Satellite Radio and Sirius merger done with so I can get rid of this goddamn options plate that's been sitting in my account for six months. I was selling naked puts thinking I'm going to take in this premium. It was going to be a cakewalk. It's going to be easy. I'm not going to have to worry about it. And here I am sweating it out to the last day. I got 12 and a half puts. I got 10 and a half. I got $10 puts that I wrote six months ago waiting, just assuming that this deal would be getting done. And then I got the guy from Bear Stearns saying that's it's imminent. How could you say a deal is imminent? Just flat out lie. You didn't know shit, buddy. You didn't know shit. We should come for your job. We should have daily or monthly smack the analyst in the face day. If you make a call like that, if you put your ass out on the line, you stick your neck out like that, and you're that wrong by using the word imminent, or, or just putting a sell recommendation on something that just goes up in your face, or telling people to buy something that's so absolutely wrong, we should all line up in front of your office and smack you right in the face. Bang! One smack, every investor that's got to prove that. You bring your certificate in, you get a smack. You got over a thousand certificates, you get at least five smacks. And then we get to come to your house and fuck your wife! What the fuck, man? Enough of this shit. You know, these people should not be getting away with this. And another thing, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to the subprime people who say, ah, ha, ha, subprime. You see, there was a lawyer sitting next to you at closing. He should have been carefully explaining to you, you know, you're paying $1,300 a month now, but if interest rates go up and blah, 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 you might be paying twenty-seven, dollars maybe even three grand a month. Do you think you're going to be able to handle that in five years? Again! Again! Is that what you said? Did you just say, again? Is that what happened? Tell me. Because you are at fault. So if anything, forget the mortgage guy, forget you getting bailed out. Here's what should happen. Sue your lawyer. He's the one who blew it. He's sitting next to you suggesting this. You know, when they told me, here, you can lock into a rain at five or three quarters for 30 years and not have to worry about it, or you can roll the dice. Roll the dice, we could get you in a mortgage at four and a half percent for five years, but there's a chance it might be up to eight or eight and a half percent, maybe even nine, five years from now. Oh, don't worry about it. If you have to, you can sell your house because the housing values will keep on going up. So I said, hey, maybe I should lock into five and three quarters for 30 years so I can sleep at night. Come on. And what about the guys who said, who, who, who the, or the, or the real estate brokers? So I went out to buy a million dollar house, but they said, why don't you buy a $2 million house? Because you can afford it now, we'll just get you into adjustable rate mortgage. Oh, so are they, are these people getting bailed out also? So you, you bought a $2 million house and now you can't afford it because you should have only bought a $1 million house and now you're complaining? Oh, my mortgage rate's at six. It went up to $8,000 a year. Come on. And if anybody ever thought Palm was going to be any sort of competition to research in motion, come on, I want an investigation. Jesus. Who recommended buying Palm? Research in motion at 300. CMGI, 20. So like I said, we're going to have some contests this year at the Suck My NASDAQ program. I'm going to be giving away all the toys that my kids didn't want this Christmas. I got a printer that somebody got me I don't want. I got a picture frame that I gave to my parents who gave back to me. So that's going up for auction as well. I love when people just bring gifts back to me and say, oh, yeah, you know what? I don't want it. Here, Merry Christmas. You take it. Thanks, Dad. That's awesome stuff, baby. Woo! Woo! Way to 
show your heart. Yeah!